Today there are countless note-taking applications, Evernote, OneNote, AmpliNote, UpNote, Drafts, Apple Notes, each with its benefits, features, some free, others paid, some with more or less fans, but the great truth is that there are many options. I've already made videos of all these apps, if you want more details, check it out on the channel. But in today's video I want to present Bear, a notes application that values minimalist and elegant design, so much so that it has already won as Apple Store App of the Year in 2016, won the Apple Design of 2017, and was the choice of the Apple editors in 2020. That is, for more than eight years this application has been evolving and standing out in the market. In terms of structure, Bear follows the market pattern, in its side column we have the structure of folders and subfolders, here we already have a highlight, you can assign more than 250 beautiful icons to highlight your folders and facilitate organization and search, giving an elegant touch to your app. But at the top we have the tasks of the day folder, the shortcut to the task manager, the unclassified notes, the archived notes, the trash and the blocked notes, because yes, you can block your confidential notes, which can only be accessed with biometrics, something very important. In the next column we have a summary of the notes, which are present in that folder and, in the main part, we have the note in use, that is, a basic and traditional style of note manager, a format that everyone knows, in this way, the learning curve of using Bear is minimal. Now in terms of resources to create your notes, Bear is very complete, first you can use Markdown, which makes writing much easier, you can create tags to organize and create links between your notes, you can include task lists, photos and tables, all together in the same note. All notes can be shared, helping collaborative work. The design is very valuable for Bear developers, its look is very minimalist and polished, and in addition to being able to customize your icons, you can use more than 28 available themes, and 15 app icon templates, that is, total customization. You can export your notes in PDF, HTML, JPG, DOCX, Markdown, RTF, text bundle and EPUB formats, you can use OCR to search for words in notes, PDFs and images, you can even resize and cut the images, and finally, you can scan documents and photos directly to your note. But if you like to include handwritten notes or draw, you can use the pencil quietly, because Bear has full support. Another important factor is security, in addition to being able to assign passwords to your notes, your notes are synchronized with iCloud, and more than this, they are end-to-end -end encrypted, so not even Bear can read what is in your notes. This synchronization with iCloud in addition to generating this automatic backup, also enables synchronization on all your equipment, and can be accessed on iPhone, iPad and Mac effortlessly. Bear also has a structure style where you can focus on certain parts of your notes, a technique widely used by writers, including Bear is widely used by amateur and professional writers. Another advantage of Bear is its community, as it has been in the market for many years, a participatory community helps in the development of the app, with new ideas, in addition to helping other users with their doubts. Bear's idea is to be simple, minimalist, with a beautiful design, and as complete as possible. So far, Bear is only available in the Apple ecosystem, with apps available for iPhone, iPad and Mac, and has a totally free version, but with limitations, and its premium version costs $29.99 per year, which is quite worthwhile. I would say that if you are looking for an app with an elegant design, with many features, easy to use, with synchronization between several devices, with a lot of customization, Bear is for you, I suggest you try the free version, you can even test the premium version for 7 days, be sure if it is worth it or not the Bear, testing all its features. Thank you for watching and see you next video.